right now we are joined by United Volleyball new head coach Mackenzie Firth. Coach, great to have you on. Thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, thanks for having me. When you talk about taking over this program, what kind of things excite you about uh, taking over a program that was pretty successful last year and, and made a pretty good run at the tournament? Um, so we had a team last year that um, they had played together for a long time. We had six seniors. So um, this year I'm excited to see um, how the new girls fill in. Um, they're all really athletic, so I'm super excited to see um, – the good things that they can do this year. Looking at this team, coach, what what is your intended culture going into this season, and what do we what should we expect from the United Eagles this year? Um, so I am really big on um, that we hustle. Um, no matter what happens any night, uh, I just want them to hustle, and um, the other team just can't out hustle us. Last year, 14 and nine with a nine and five record in the EOAC, finished fourth in the conference. You return your kills leader in uh, Chapit, but you lost your your assist leader in Haley Dees. Talk about what it's going to be like with uh, your your offense returning, your your main source of offense, but you have to kind of re- you have to find a new uh, a new setter to come run the offense. So, what's the summer been like for you trying to get, trying to navigate that? So um, there are two setters that were left in the program. Um, one of them is a junior, um, Olivia Grubb, and then we have um, sophomore Maddie Lucas. Um, they're both going to be great assets this year. Um, it's just navigating um, who is best when and with who. Um, like you said, we have Tori returning, and she's really great. Um, but pretty much every other spot other than um, – Taylor Cope's middle, um, we have to find someone that can fill those spots and dig deep and do the same things that the girls did last year. Looking at some of the successful teams around the area, what do you think are the aspects to their success? What do you think is an aspect of a good quality championship volleyball team? Um, I think that a team that can play defense and adjust well Um, to what the other team is doing has a great chance of moving on in the tournament and going far. Um, Defense is definitely the one of the most important things that you see on the volleyball court. You know, you're, you're the new head coach, but you were uh, helping them out last year. What kind of advantage does that give you to, to know what you had coming in and not have to kind of learn uh, the culture, the personality or, or how to coach these girls. You kind of knew exactly who you had and, and how to coach them. Um, yep. So the girls, um, I actually started in the eighth grade there, um, in 19. So I moved up with those girls, um, to the JV and then we got to mix in, um, some of the sophomores and the sophomores really helped, um, the current juniors. Um, but this year to already know who was there, um, really helped me get into the summer and know an idea of what I was going to have. Um, that really helped a lot. I've been told by some people in the United program to watch out for the sophomore class that you guys have. Uh, am I being told right information? Is the sophomore class really strong? And if so, uh, break down who you got and, and what makes them so special. Okay, yeah, the sophomores, they are super athletic. They're a great group. Um, No matter what um, sport they're playing, they're pretty tough. Um, So we have um, Desiree Bush. Um, She was new in the eighth grade, but she works hard and she loves the game. That's all. Um, And then we have Jocelyn Irie. Um, She is new this year at United. Well, she was new last year, but she's new to the volleyball program this year. Um, She came to us from Salem. So she works hard. Um, She gets after it every day she's in the gym. Um, Then we have Grayson Kidder. She played middle um, for the JV last year. Um, She does a great job too. Um, Grace Knight, she uh, plays on the outside. Um, she's great in the back row. Um, she actually can swing anywhere in the front. So she's a great, um, asset to have. Um, 
Then we have Madeline Lucas. She was a setter for us. She has great hands. Um, she's good about moving the ball around, um, knowing where the blockers are and everything. So, And then we have Lucy Stout. She is a back row player, and she will do anything to help us out um, on or off the court. Those are your sophomores, but when you talk about your upperclassmen, who are the leaders that you're going to lean on this year emotionally and verbally and, and even the leaders that just lead by example? Um, so we only have two returning lettermen from last year. So those are the two that I'm really going to lean on to help um, transition the girls that played JV um, last year to that are going to have to step up and play varsity this year. Um, we have Tori Shapit. She's our only senior. Um, she is definitely a example that I like to have out on the court. She doesn't really complain about much. She just gets down and does what she needs to do. Um, then we have Taylor Cope. She is more verbal out on the court. Um, but she's also another great one to have. Um, she's a good example for the girls and will do just about anything she needs to do. Yeah, Coach. Uh, looking at the team this year, um, you've highlighted some of some of the players already. Uh, talk to me a little bit about how you're building the team camaraderie, though. We are we know playing is only half the battle. Building that team camaraderie and chemistry is the other half. Uh, how have you tried to uh, help that, and how are the girls uh, adjusting with the, the team camaraderie and chemistry? Yeah, so um, they definitely um, adding the two that didn't play together last year is definitely um, something that we've been working on. Um, we've just been getting in the gym. Um, they've been playing together. The Some of them have been playing together for two or three years now. So we just have to mix in those few that um, are new. You get, you know, you get new players and you, like you said, you're trying to mix them in. How much has the normal summer, you know, opposed to the, the COVID summer that you guys had to have last year, really helped with with being able to do some of the things that you would be able to do, maybe wouldn't have been able to do last last summer? Yeah, so last year it was crazy for everyone, um, having to stay apart. Um, they couldn't really do very much team play last year during the summer. Um, they had to have separate balls, and they could only be with certain girls. So this year, being able to come into the gym on day one and scrimmage or um, do serve receive or anything like that really helped um, start them to have the foundation for the upcoming season. Tell us what a uh, typical McKenzie Firth practice looks like at United. Okay. So we start off normally with um, stretching. Um, that's important. We don't want anybody to get hurt. And then we do some conditioning. The girls really love it. Um, and then we come back in the gym. We do platform work. Um, so they're good passers because if you can't get a pass, you your offense can't really do anything else. Um, work on hitting, serve, receive. And then for the end, we um, scrimmage normally. And uh, before we let you go, because I know your time is very valuable and we appreciate it, uh, talk about your schedule, uh, what what kind of uh, games you have circled a little bit as games you're excited for, and then uh, tell us when you open the season and, and who you're playing in the Open. Okay. Um, we actually have a pretty tough league schedule. Um, there's not a team that I would – um, take lightly or anything. Um, uh, we also have South Range on our schedule this year. They're the team that knocked us out of the tournament last year. So I know that the girls and I are ready to see them and see how we can compare to last year to this year. Um, our first game is August 23rd. Um, we open uh, with Minerva at home. All right, Coach, thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, we definitely appreciate the time that you've been able to give us. We look forward to covering United Volleyball. Look forward to talking to you again at some point in the season and, and look forward to a lot of success for you guys in the program. Yep, thank you so much for having me.